I'm Anil Kumar. With the help of three examples, we'll understand how to find distance from a point to a line in R3. Question number one has two parts. It is, for each case, find distance from the given point to the given line. The line here is R equals to 1, 0, minus 2 plus S minus 1, 1, 2, where S belongs to real numbers, and the point is 1, 3, 2. B is a symmetric equation, x minus 1 over 2 equals to y minus 2 over 3, z equals to 1, and the point Q is given to you as 1 minus 1, 2. Question number 2. What is the distance from the point 1, 2, 0 to the line r equals to 2i plus 1 plus 2tj minus 3 minus tk, right? Here also, t belongs to set of real numbers. So these are the questions for you to find distance from the point to a line. So basically, what we're looking forward is some line like this. What we are given here is a point somewhere. So we could use this point and the point on the line when you join them. In that case, the distance from the given point to the line will be the perpendicular distance, right? Which is kind of normal to the line. If you look into this particular triangle, where the angle theta is being formed with the external point P and let's say some point on the line, let's call this as Q in this particular case, uh, okay, on the line. So this is the line L. In that case, the shortest distance is PM, right? So PM is the shortest distance. You could find this distance as cosine of this angle. Is that okay? That is how you could find. You could also find this using cross product, right? So normal you get using the cross product. Right? So, you, so the distance, let's say PM, which is the shortest distance will be equal to the magnitude of cross product of PQ with the direction m of the line divided by the magnitude of direction m. Okay. So that is the equation which we are going to use. Now in first two parts, points are very clear, direction is also very clear. In part two, you may have to rearrange to really get the direction and the point. Okay. So with that information, I'd like you to Pause the video, copy the questions, solve them, and then look into my suggestions. So let's do them one by one. Question number one, A. R equals to one, zero, minus one. So we can say external point P is given to us as one, three, two. Let's call the point on the line as P zero. Let's call this P zero as 1, 0, minus 2, right? So that is the point on the line. The direction in this particular case, M, is given to us as minus 1, 1, 2. To find the shortest distance, D, we'll use cross product of PPO, right? And the direction vector. So that gives you the normal. Find its magnitude divide by the magnitude of the direction vector itself. So what is P, P0? So we do 1 minus 1, which is, which is 0. 0 minus 3 is minus 3. Minus 2 minus 2 is minus 4, right? Cross with minus 1, 1, 2, divided by, so we'll take magnitude of this magnitude of the direction vector will be square root of 1 square, let me write minus 1 square, plus 1 square, plus 2 square, correct? Now let's do cross product. Now there are different ways which have been taught to you to find cross product. Uh, one of them is, 
we can write these direction numbers in this fashion minus 3 minus 4 0 minus 3 then the other one starting from the middle 1 2 minus 1 1 2 minus 1 ending at the middle number so in this particular case we do this as positive and that is negative correct and that becomes the i component so it becomes minus 3 times 2 as 6 minus 6 take away minus 4 which becomes plus 4 that becomes the i component right then in this particular case minus minus becomes positive so we get 4 minus 0 and the j component is 0 minus that becomes positive 3 so what we get here direction i mean the distance d is actually equals to in the numerator we get the the vector minus 6 plus 4 which is minus 2 4 minus 0 is 4 and 0 minus is minus 3 divided by square root of 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 4 is 6 now the magnitude of the numerator is square root of 2 square let me write here minus 2 square plus 4 square plus minus 3 square square root divided by square root of 6 so so that gives us distance of square root of 4 plus 16 plus 9 divided by square root of 6 that is square root of 29 over 6 correct so we can use the calculator to find this answer so we have square root of 29 divided by 6 which is equals to 2.198 which can approximate as 2.2 correct so that is how you can find the distance when using vector equation of the line now let's do part b in this particular case we can say that the point on the line let's call this as p0 is 1 minus 2 z is 1 correct the point Q given to us is 1 minus 1, 2. And therefore, we can write PQ as equal to 1 minus 1 is 0. Minus 1 minus this is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. The direction vector M is 2, 3, 0. Correct? So the magnitude of M, we can actually calculate all the answers separately. Magnitude of M is square root of 2 square plus 3 square plus 0 square, which is square root of 4 plus 9, which is square root of 13. So that's the magnitude of M. Now let's ca also calculate the cross product, PQ cross M. Uh, PQ cross M will be 0, 1, 1 cross 2, 3, 0. So let's use a different technique to find this cross product. We can write this as IJK 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 0. And then I times that minus this. So that becomes kind of determinant, right? So we could write this as I times. 0 minus 3 minus j times these are the unit vectors it's good practice to write like this 0 minus 2 plus k unit vector 0 minus 2 okay so 0 minus 2 we got for both okay so that gives us as minus 3i plus 2j minus 2k right so that becomes the the cross product now we can find the magnitude of this cross product also so let's write down the magnitude of pq cross m which is square root of 3 square which is 9 plus 2 square which is 4 plus 2 square which is 4 
that gives you 13 plus 4 17 square root and now we'll use the formula which you all know right so the formula here for distance is the magnitude of PQ cross M over magnitude of M we found all the values we have square root of 17 in the numerator and square root of 13 in the denominator so we get square root of 17 over 13 as our answer okay now let's look into the third question we need to find what is the distance from 1 to 0 to the line r which is 2i plus 1 plus 2tj minus 3 minus tk so all the three questions are kind of uh, variations and I hope that helps you to understand the concept. So let's say that the point is given to us as Q, which is 1, 2, 0, right? Now how do we find point from this given equation of the line? Uh, we are given the line, let's say, let me rewrite this line. When I say 2i, basically I could write the component 2. As far as the j component is concerned for the point is 1, k is minus 3 if I open this up, plus t times, for i it is 0, for j it is 2t, right, so you get 2, and for k minus minus becomes plus plus 1, where t belongs to real numbers, doesn't make sense. Now that becomes exactly similar to part A, right? So you should follow the same steps and solve it, correct? So we can say the point P0 on this line is 2, 1, minus 3. So we have P0Q as, so when I write P0Q, I want to do 1 minus 2, right? So 1 minus 2 is minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1, 0 minus this is 3. Is that okay? And M is given to us as 0, 2, 1. Perfect. Let us now find the, the cross product of P0 Q with M. Right? The cross product is minus 1, 1, 3. You can use any of the techniques which we have done. We have used two different techniques here. So again, uh, let me go with the first one, kind of simpler. So we'll start with writing with the center number 1, 3, minus 1, 1, 2, 1, 0, 2. And then you multiply, right? So what you get here is 1 minus 6. We get 1 minus 6 as the i component. j is 3 times 0, 0. Minus, minus becomes plus. So it becomes 1. And the k component is minus 2. Is that okay? So that becomes the cross product. P0q cross m. And its magnitude will be, let's figure this out. So the magnitude here, let me write this as minus 5, 1, minus 2. Is it okay? So the magnitude here will be square root of minus 5 square plus 1 square plus minus 2 square, which is square root of 25 plus 1 plus 4 which is 30, right? So a square root of 30. So what is, and what is the square root of, uh, what is the magnitude of m? It is square root of 0 plus 4 plus 1, which is equal to square root of 5. Correct. So now we can write down the distance. So distance d is magnitude of P0q cross m over the magnitude of m, correct? 
So apply this formula. So what do you get here? Basically is equals to square root of 30 divided by square root of 5. 30 divided by 5 is 6. So we get square root of 6 as our answer. Right? So that is how you can find the distance from a point to a line in R3. So I hope that so I hope that helps, right? Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe my videos, that'd be great. Thank you and all the best.